Is it over yet? Have the storms finally stopped? Actually no, because there's another one coming in a few days time. Wow, in the meantime, while it's not windy and flooding and everything here in the UK, it's a perfect time to play some Minecraft with some friends while we're still all alive. But that of course leads to the obvious question of, how can you play with your friends on the cheap? What if you're on your own server and you have barely any money but you still want to run an awesome Minecraft server that won't lag? <laughs> so that is what we'll be going over in this video, as I'll be going over exactly how you can get yourself the perfect Minecraft server on the cheap. So of course, in order to run a server, we need some hardware. And since it's just a server, it doesn't need to be a 9900K with 2080i, we can go old used hardware if needed. So I'll be going on my test bench that use an FX 8350 CPU. It's a CPU from 2012 where you get 8 cores and 8 threads, and you can get them for pretty cheap that are used. So it's definitely a great starting point for us. However, there is already a problem, and that is that that CPU is infamous for even for the time having awful IPC, or instructions per cycle, and that is something that Minecraft server instances depend a lot on. So I would recommend getting a decent cooling solution so you can overclock your chip if needed, so you can get an extra bit of performance out of it. You got all that? Great, good on you. But then we move on to one of the most important parts of a server. It's the one everyone knows about and yells about. It's so important it's even a whole meme based off of it, and that is RAM. With a good Minecraft server, you need quite a nice amount of RAM. And frankly, when you're working with an older platform, such as an FX8350, which still uses DDR3 RAM, you can get it for pretty cheap. However, a big advantage here of using DDR3 over DDR4 is that you get way more leeway in when it comes to mixing and matching your RAM modules. In DDR4 it is way harder, but with DDR3 you can just slap two different sets of modules and it should still work. So on top of the normal 16GB of DDR3 RAM that came with my system, uh, we're also using these two 4GB modules which will total 24GB. Now it's still DDR3, so it's not the fastest memory in the world, but hopefully that shouldn't affect anything. And you may be thinking, oh, 24 gigabytes, that does sound like a lot, you know? They recommend that the Minecraft server should have at least 4 to 6 gigabytes of RAM. All of that is going to get used up real fast, especially the older the world gets. And finally, for a graphics card, well, you really don't need one. Like, literally, a Minecraft server does not use a graphics card for anything. So I'm just putting one into my system because, well, I need some way to output a signal. But talking about it and testing it out are two different things. So, let me now set up my Minecraft server on this test bench. And I won't be going over that in this video. There's plenty of tutorials on that already online, so just check them out. And let's get some people on and see what it's like. So the test is simple. Just try to, you know, stress as a server, do the things you normally do. And yeah, okay. see if you can break it. Let's stress the server out. Got a lot of doors. Wait, how mm. have you got half doors? Slash fill. <laughs> Magic. This I looks like, like a maze. Oh, J knows. Jake, your house is gone. So how would you rate the overall experience then? So far. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not, oh my, oh, oh my, oh my. What is going on? Like, surprisingly, the performance is not the worst. Oh my word. That's a lot of entities. We're like, a, a thousand or so. Yeah, we're definitely about a thousand entities by now. Oh my word. Um. Okay. I, I, I don't know about you, but I, I'm lagging. <laughs> I can't move. I mean, you did, you did just spawn in at 2,000 new blocks. And each one is like dropping at least two to three entities. It more it looks more like a glitch right now. Like it just looks like a matrix coming alive. Oh my, does we really, just look at like a matrix coming alive? This is what happens when you lag out a server. Oh. Yeah, everything just turns into seed. I just got a wind flap. It's still oh my, twenty thousand blocks. I can't. It's still handling it though. It's 2012 hardware, but it's still handling it. Nice. Gosh, Jake, you can't even lag out the server top. <laughs> and it's closed. We've done it. Okay, maybe like 30,000 entities at once wasn't the best idea. Thankfully, it didn't immediately kick us all. I'm gonna try to, uh... Oh! Oh! Shit, all this stuff. There we go. That, that was... 
almost 5,000 entities. Okay, ev everyone grab an elytra, grab some rockets, and just load in as many trucks as you can. And see, and let's see how it handles that. I mean, it's kind of... It's kind of keeping up, but kind of not. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm... No, it's definitely not keeping up with two people. I just hit the wall. Zach, are you flying as well now? Yes, I've been flying for ages. Okay, I mean, with three people on, this isn't... The worst? Oh my word, okay. So overall, it's a decent solution. The 24 gigabytes of RAM are definitely coming in handy. However, the age of the CPU is still really preventing us from getting a great performance. In that case, of course, you can overclock your CPU to get even more performance out of it. But what if even that isn't enough? And what if you already have a decent gaming PC, but don't have the money for a spare PC you can just use to run as a Minecraft server, even using old used parts? The reason we went with a separate PC in the first place is because, well, if you were to run on your own PC, naturally having the game open, the server open, maybe some stuff like Chrome or Discord in the background as well, that should make the server run way slower. However, technology has really advanced since 2012 and 2013, so you may actually get better performance with your current PC if it's good enough compared to an old solution like this even when you have the server running at the same time as the game and whatever else. So in my PC we have a Ryzen 3700X, an 8 core 16 thread CPU and 32GB of DDR4 RAM. So with my current configuration then, with 20GB dedicated to the server, let's try it out. Okay, okay so now we just need to do the same thing again and see if how the experience is now. What? What? Uh, this doesn't happen too often. It's usually a standalone island. Um, looks pretty, it looks pretty cool though. Um, okay. Oh my word. How did this happen? That is actually handling it well. Wait, wait, wait. No, Jake, Jake, leave it alone, leave it alone. This is how you do it properly. I've never seen such a weird combination of mushroom mine. Like this is a big mushroom mine and it's attached to the main mine. Really? Oh yeah, because there's new ones spawning all the time. So, who wants to do the oh. honors, boys? Uh, uh, well, let me just try this first, let me try this first. Never mind. How did that not catch? We're so lucky. Oh, no. Never mind. Yep, yeah, that, that's hurting, that's hurting. But still no crash. <laughs> On the other server from something like that, we, we would have crashed, right? Mm -hmm. We have crashed tenfold. Um, it did last a lot longer than the other server. <laughs> Stuck oh my word! Yep, it's, it, it, it's a pretty solid crash. So I just jumped back the server to what well, I'm, I'm guessing you see before you go to hell. Oh, it's doing it. It's somehow doing it. I have no idea how there's still houses in this village. I don't know. All the babies are just hiding in this house. I'm sorry. Um, it's actually doing rather well. Okay, so after a cheeky way out, we have a massive crater. The server hasn't point crashed. Out. There was some lag, but... It took me three minutes for that command to execute. Three minutes? <laughs> I executed it as soon as I joined the server. Okay, well... It, it's, it still could be worse. Okay, well, let's see how it handles... Um, a lot of mobs. And that is a lot of vexes. It's actually always think... trippy looking. This is actually like... I'm at stable 60 FPS, actually let me turn V-Sync off and to see how well I'm, my PC just manages on its own. And somehow turning V-Sync off may make frame rates go down. Actually no, 65 FPS with a whole bunch of bees, a whole bunch of vexes, it's around a thousand, it's going to be about a, a thousand entities at this point that are around me. This is actually not that bad. If, if, if out, out, of, out of 10, both the servers, how would you rank them? 
Uh, well, we're about to find out. So, oh, there, that's where the lag kicks in. So yeah, Jake. I, I, out of ten, both servers go. Uh, first one six, second one eight. Nice. That's that's an improvement. That's that's good enough for me. That's good enough for me. So there we go. That's how much seven years in IPC improvement can boost your server performance. And you don't even need to have 32 gigabytes of RAM in it. You could go down with your 16 and you should still have a smooth experience. But again, if you do have lots of people generating chunks at the same time, and stuff like that, you may want to look into investing into 32 gigabytes of RAM. However, that's almost a better deal than buying some old DDR3 memory for your server. Because you're not just getting extra RAM for a PC that all it does is run a Minecraft server. You're getting for your own personal PC. So having more RAM will just help you in anything you do. So hopefully this video proves useful and if you want to have an awesome PC that can run both Minecraft and a Minecraft server at the same time, well, you know what I want to say, at Runner Systems, down in the video description below, we offer amazing PCs and amazing prices and right now we have a sale on, on our System X PCs where you can save up to £130 on our highest performing PCs. Those things will slay Minecraft even with ray tracing. So if you want to play Minecraft like the 1%, then those are the PCs for you. Also, I'd like to thank my patrons Barry Yule, and also a really, really big thank you to Ryan Douglas for supporting my channel Patreon. Thank you ever so, so much. And if you want to help support the channel, then the link to that's down in the video description below. Also down there is my Discord if you want to talk to me about this or whatever else. Just go, go down, join it. It's an awesome Discord. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever. And I'll see you all in what I'm next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.